26 dogs found living in deplorable conditions in Alney are on their way to new homes. The dogs were found barricaded in rooms and closets with piles of feces and spaces covered in urine. Toledo Bravo spoke with the Alney police chief today and the organizations involved in rescuing these animals. So Talia, how are these animals doing now? Daryl, some of these dogs were close to death, but have come a long way and are only hours away from starting new lives. After animal control was contacted by an anonymous tip, only PD seized the house of local couple Jerry and Tracy York. At first, we're trying to work with them to get them in compliance with city ordinance. Um, however, as we continued the, the warrant, we got to the back side of the house and uh, we, did, we started finding different doors to rooms that were barricaded and, uh, you know, uh, floors that were completely covered in feces and dogs and deteriorating conditions as we got further back into the house. What they thought was in violation of city animal limits per home was way worse. Four dogs emaciated, the smell of ammonia, urine and feces throughout the house. Dogs locked in rooms and completely neglected. All 26 dogs were transferred to the Humane Society of Young County. Uh, we have an unfinished uh, building out behind our initial shelter, uh, which we're making into a dog quarantine area. So we were able to utilize that as far as uh, temporary housing for them. And uh, then we called in AIR. We were hopeful that they would be able to come in and help us, and thankfully they were. Um, I, we're, we're very small, very short-staffed, uh, so having them here to help us is saved us literally. <laughs> President of Animal Investigation Response or AIR, Monica Ailey says the first thing they do when stepping into cases like these is get the animals in a routine but still says despite her 17 years in the field it's really disheartening. Get them on a schedule so that they know that they can uh, they're looking they know when their next meal is coming they know they don't have to worry about that they stay in a clean environment um, so that they're not living in their in their waste and so it's um it's really sad. Their next step, going through the process of finding them a new loving home. Day one, we're, we're thinking of placement uh, because we want every single animal that comes from these neglectful situations and these cruelty situations to get to a place uh, where they thrive, um, you know, whether it's a rescue group, whether it's another shelter. Um, and we, so we reach out to our placement partners and ask them for help. Those partners are doing just that. Tonight, all 26 dogs will load up with air and make their way to Kansas City, Missouri and continue receiving medical attention and from there, get adopted. The Humane Society and AIR team both are seeing progress since taking the dogs, with one of them having gained eight pounds since the day of the rescue. Now, both organizations are nonprofits and are always thankful for donations to continue fulfilling their mission. For more on how to donate, click inside the story over on our website. Wow, I'm so glad they're doing so well. Eight pounds, and they're that says a that's lot. That's incredible. Okay, oh. Talia, thank you so much for that story.